every day we are bombarded by news of our deteriorating natural world, damaged out of our own doing. With such a massive problem, finding solutions can feel overwhelming. But this simple and humble approach can make a big difference. We often hear the words, bring your own bottle, bring your own straw, bring your own eco bag. And this place that we are about to show you right now lives that and will help us all live a more sustainable lifestyle. And I'm here with Rowana of Humble Market, where we are right now. Hi! Hi! This quaint little super pretty shop right along Shaw Boulevard. Okay, Humble Market. Tell us why that's the name and how it came about. Okay, well, we're called Humble Market because we just really aim to be like a drop in the bucket to create this ripple effect to help people live more sustainably. Because sometimes when it comes to maybe zero waste lifestyle or sustainability, sometimes it's too daunting. Yes. And so we want to take a humble approach mm. um, to be more inclusive and to just embrace as many customers as possible. Putting up humble market is Rowana's own way of sharing her newfound lifestyle after health scare threatened to keep her on maintenance medicines for life. A couple of years ago, I actually got sick. Um, I was diagnosed with a toxic thyroid condition and it's something that I had to be prescribed medicine for. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, I felt this fear that it was going to be a lifetime of dependence on medication, so I had to make a change. Wait, meaning it wasn't really getting any better? Like, I kept going back and forth. I wasn't okay. progressively getting better. So that's when I looked at different um, lifestyle interventions. I was so focused on the idea that I needed to heal myself, and that, to me, made the most sense. So how long after you switching to a plant-based diet, did your condition get better? Um, it was a lot of other things. It wasn't just a plant-based right, diet, right. but I already felt well in a few months. Mm -hmm. And six months, I kind of felt like I had my body back, but right. in, in a year, I got off my prescriptions completely. Wow, totally. Totally. So purely yeah. the food intake. Stress management right. and just trying to be mindful of what I consumed on a day-to-day -day basis. Right. Um, and trying to minimize my toxin mm -hmm. exposure, not just through the food, but also the, the products, the makeup, the, the toiletries that I use, trying yeah. to minimize all those yeah. environmental toxins. The Humble Market has only been open for less than a year, but the demand for their green and healthy products is an encouraging indication of the store's steady growth. Um, what do people keep coming back for? Or what, which stock do you have to keep replenishing of all your items? One popular product right now is Adlai. Okay, let's explain Adlai. So for those who want to avoid rice, yes. Adlai is a substitute. What's it yes. made of? It's, it's a grain. grain. Okay. And it's a grain that's higher in protein, fiber, and lower in carbs compared, compared to, to rice. rice. And that's Pinoy's why... Pinoy's love rice. I know it's so hard. So if Pinoy's you want to try to cut rice, rice but yeah. still want the rice feel. Yeah. Um, and here at the store, we offer both white and brown. I got the chance to look around the store and learn too how to shop the green way. So aside from food items, here in Humble Market, you also carry a lot of personal care items. Mm -hmm. And the number one rule here, I guess, in this store is it's plastic-free. So, yes. bawal ang plastic. <laughs> Ayaw nila ng plastic. One thing that really caught my attention is this. It's a it's a metal safety razor, mm -hmm. so it's really what my grandfather used. Yes, because of course razors that we buy in the grocery there are plastic. all made of plastic. Yeah. It only yeah. lasts for a couple of times, and right. then you toss it, it'll go to yes. the landfill. And then 400 years, it's there. And it's called a safety razor because um, it's designed in such a way that you won't hurt yourself okay. when placing the blade. So you just twist the bottom, and then you just place the blade on top of that. Okay. When you close it, it will come out on both sides. So it's oh. a double edge razor. So the actual blade I will buy. We also oh, sell that there. here. Okay. Yeah, so the actual. So yeah, can we show it? There so you the go. actual blade. Okay, just place that on top. And then, mm -hmm. gotta close it. Mm -hmm. And there you go, it's ready for use. Oh, that's right, that's right there. That's so, so what cool. you replace is just the blade right. once it goes dull. And this you can keep forever. Okay, metal safety razor. And now we have that. <gasps> have it in rose gold wow, as well for, for the, the ladies. Girls. I oh. love it. <laughs> yeah. This is very interesting. I've seen that on social media. Do you want to try? Oh, so yeah, sip. And stash it's called Sip and Stash. Cup. It's from Daydream Republic. Okay. It's a partner of ours. So you just twist the cap. Am I twisting it the right way? Yes, there you go. And then you just push. 
Nail. <laughs> and it's a cup. Cool. I think my inside now. there's also a sleeve. So for your oh, hot drinks. Oh my goodness. I've seen this also from quite a number of friends. Saan saan candles. The packaging is so cool. It's so Pinoy. It's so nice. vintage even. Mm -mm. Yes. Proudly Pinoy. Yeah. Oh, cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Oh. And when it comes to packaged products here, you can actually return ones that are emptied and to get a discount on your next purchase. Oh, cool. So for example, I finished this whole candle. Yes. I'll just bring it the next time I come here. Yes, and you can get a discount on your next purchase. Cool. So you can also contribute to reducing recyclables. Okay. We also have what is called unpaper towels. Tell us about these. So these are supplied to us by Homeseek Manila. They're substitutes to our tissues and right. paper towels. Mm -hmm. So like for example, this one, it's, it's a roll oh. that you can just have in your kitchen. Okay. When you grab one, um, it's they're just the same snapped together. Of, yeah. You can just pull <laughs> yeah. one yeah, and then use it to wipe. And then you can just toss it with your laundry. Right. Um, the same goes for these wipes. They come in different sizes. Mm -hmm. um, you can put them in tissue boxes and you can just wash along with your clothes. So finally, this is where we dispense all the grains or the superfoods the nuts, right here, seeds. the seeds. So take us through, for example, if uh, we were a customer. For example, we'd get um, the white okay. quinoa. So the May first I step, of okay, course, first step, first is step is you need to tear the container. Oh, okay, we're gonna measure it. Ooh, okay. So you put it on the uh, weighing scale and then you need to press tear. A tear. Tear. So now it's down to zero. Oh, okay. So what, what that does is it uh, subtracts the weight of the container. Already? Once, yes. Okay. Cool. Okay, so let's say I'm going to get quinoa. Tama ba? Yes. How do I know how much I've got? Oh, cool. <laughs> Just a little and it goes already so much. Okay, so let's say half a jar. It's so pretty. <laughs> and then okay. we wait again. So now, oh, it's a, exa wow. exactly wow, 100 that, grams. Exactly 100 grams. So that would, and then it would, com you would compute that for us. So something you said earlier that really struck me was how, when you hear the words um, sustainable, plastic-free, it feels for other people like such a commitment. So what would your advice be for people who want to get into it but are too intimidated? Well, you just have to start small. Really just look at your own habits. If you keep on looking at people who are already promoting and, and living that kind of lifestyle, it's not encouraging anymore if, it, if, it, if we feel like it's such a high mountain to climb. But just starting with our own daily habits and routines and just practicing more, more daily mindfulness. Thank you. Well, thank you for having yeah. me. Thank uh, thanks for coming, I of mean. Of course. <laughs> And that is it for our show. We would like to thank Shangri-La Hotel here in the fort for being our gracious hosts. And you know what, Steph? We really enjoyed gathering all these stories to share with you. We hope you enjoyed that too. I'm Bianca Gonzalez. And I'm Stephanie Zubiri Crespi. Join us again next weekend as we have more illuminating conversations on Modern Living TV.